everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to make this amazing puffy sleeved shirt dress which is literally made up of just four rectangles of fabric. This dress is heavily inspired by the Atlanta dress by the brand Sleeper but I've seen so many different variations of this dress all over the internet and I thought it was high time I had a go at making this dress for myself. Also, this video is kindly sponsored by LDH Scissors and I'll be sharing more about them in a minute. So let's jump in and let me show you how to make this dream puff sleeve dress. Like I said before, this dress is made up of four rectangles and the first thing we need to do is figure out what size the rectangle should be depending on your measurements. The main body part of the dress is made up of two rectangles and to figure out the size of the rectangles, measure your bust pretty tightly and then measure from the top of your bust to however long you'd like your dress to be. For example, my bust measurement is 80 centimeters or 31 and a half inches and I wanted my dress to sit at about the 90 centimeter or 35 and a half inch mark. Therefore, my two first rectangles are going to be these two measurements. Now to figure out the sleeve rectangles. Measure your shoulder from underarm to underarm and times this measurement by two. Then measure the length of your arm and figure out where you'd like the sleeve to end. Add about 20 centimeters or seven and a half inches to this measurement to allow for some extra puffiness. And these two measurements will make up your next two rectangles. Then it's time to cut the rectangles out in your fabric. I'm using this lovely floral vintage cotton fabric that I picked up on eBay recently for my dress. Pockets are optional, but really who doesn't love a dress with pockets? So if you'd like to include some in your dress, cut four pocket pieces out using the template I've made for this video, which you can find in the description below. To cut out the pieces of my dress, I'm using these beautiful dressmaking scissors by LDH. And let me tell you, I've been looking for the perfect pair of dressmaking scissors for the longest time, and I am so happy to have finally found them. Not only are these scissors absolutely beautiful to look at with their classic vintage dressmaking shears look, but you can really feel the quality of these scissors right away. A lot of dressmaking scissors I've used in the past have been really clunky and difficult to use, but these cut through the fabric so smoothly and easily, and you can really tell the quality and love that is being put into each and every pair. And if that isn't enough, they also come with a 10 year warranty. So you can have peace of mind knowing that you're working with a pair of scissors that are made to last. If you'd also like a pair of these scissors for yourself, then definitely check out the link in the description of this video. So you should now have the following pieces all cut out. First, take your pocket pieces and overlock the curved edge to prevent it from fraying. If you don't have an overlocker, you can use the zigzag stitch of your sewing machine instead. Next, measure from the top of your bust to approximately where you'd like your pockets to sit. I placed mine at around the 35 centimeter or 13 and a half inch mark. Then take your main dress rectangles and with right sides together, pin the pockets in place at that measurement. Stitch the pockets in place and then overlock or zigzag the raw edges to stop them from fraying. With an iron, press the pockets out flat. Then with right sides together, lay one rectangle onto the other, matching the pockets together. Stitch them together along the side edge, placing your machine needle down and turning the fabric to sew around the pocket. Then hem the top and bottom of your dress by folding and pressing in about half a centimetre or quarter of an inch twice. Measure from the top of your bust to where you'd like the sharing to stop. 
My dress has about 25 centimeters or 10 inches of sharing all up. Once you're happy with your measurement, mark it onto your dress rectangle with a water erasable pen or some tailor's chalk. And now the fun of the sharing begins. Sharing is basically stitching elastic onto the fabric to gather it and make it stretchy. First, set your machine up for sharing. Each machine is different, but for my machine, I found changing the tension to 6 when it's usually 4 and the stitch length to 3.5 when it's usually 2.5 worked best for me. Next, prepare your bobbin by simply hand winding the sharing elastic onto it. You don't want to pull it too tightly, but you also don't want it to be too loose. It should look a little something like this. Then test your settings to see how the sharing works. To do this, take a scrap piece of fabric and draw two guidelines onto it that are 30 centimeters or 10 inches apart. We basically want to share the fabric until it's about half of this measurement. To share, hold on to your threads as you start stitching and then back stitch like normal. Stitch until you reach the other guideline. Then repeat this, lining up the presser foot to the last row of stitches to keep all of your rows of stitching nice and straight. Don't panic if your fabric isn't gathering up a heap right away. The more rows you stitch, the stretchier the fabric becomes. Once you've completed several rows, your fabric should have gathered and shrunk about 50%, making it now 15 centimeters or five inches wide. So now we can start sharing the dress. Simply line up your presser foot to the edge of the fabric to make sure your first row of stitching is nice and straight. Then just keep sharing until you reach the measurement you marked on the fabric earlier. This part is super easy, it's just really time consuming. So I suggest maybe listening to a podcast or something just to make this process slightly less tedious. Once you've finally shared the entire bust, take the dress to the ironing board. And I recently learned that you can make the elastic shrink a tiny bit more by simply hovering your iron over the sharing and using the steam. As you can see, like magic, it shrinks up a tiny bit more. And the main part of the dress is now complete. To make the sleeves, fold the width of your sleeve in half with right sides together and stitch them together along the raw edge. Next, measure your arm where you'd like the sleeve to sit and also measure your shoulder from underarm to underarm again. Then cut two pieces of elastic of each of these measurements. I used some six millimeter or a quarter of an inch wide elastic for my dress, which worked really well. So let me show you how to make these sleeves puff. Take the sleeve rectangles and hem both ends by folding in about one centimeter or half an inch twice. Then stitch the hem down, leaving a small opening to be able to thread the elastic through. Then using a safety pin, thread the longer elastic through one casing and the shorter elastic into the casing at the other end. Stitch the two ends of the elastic together by going back and forth with a zigzag stitch. Then stitch the casing closed. Trim away any loose threads. And you should now have two puffy sleeves. To attach the sleeves to the dress, simply match the side seams of the sleeve and the dress together and pin about 10 centimeters or four inches of the sleeve to the actual dress. Then stitch in place. And 
the sleeves should now be attached to your dress like this. So, how does this completed dress look? tutorial helpful and that you're now inspired to make a dress like this one for yourself. I personally cannot wait to make this dress in all of my favourite colours. It was so much easier than I thought it would be to make and it's actually really comfortable to wear and I can already tell it's going to be a staple in my wardrobe for the warmer months. If you do have a go at making this dress for yourself, then I would love to see it. So be sure to tag me at Rosary Apparel when you share your photos on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, then I would really love it if you could give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching.